that's the pacifist side. I ride the night, savoring the salty taste upon my lapping tongue, then the hot blood flowing down my throat, the heat, the fire emanating from the furnace of my heart's desire. Fed now by insatiable appetite, dead flesh revives, eyes spark, and involuntarily a guttural moan, I am so alive. I burn the darkness from the night, and night becomes as day to cat's lit eyes. I stalk the streets. My fangs now sheathed like a switchblade back in the pocket, slowly gliding on my midnight Indian, black leather like a deerskin glove wrapped tightly round my lanky thighs. I own these darkened streets off Jackson Square. This Midnight hour, I seek you everywhere. And now I'm going to call up a willing victim. <laughs> Amy Herman. Amy Herman. Host of Titillating Tongues. Amy, she doesn't strut her all her stuff every time. She's also an incredible dancer. This was meant to be uh, a dialogue, poetic, contrapuntal, with the pas de deux. It's meant to be danced and sung, but since I just gave it to her two minutes ago, we're going to share the mic. This is called Vamped. Who are you to me? Or I to you. That I. That you. Pollute the sash. Shrug off my shoulders now. Your shoulders now. My loosened gown. Your loosened gown. To fall about my feet. About your feet. To stand before you. Stand before me. Unabashed, unclothed. All because you smiled at me. All because I smiled at you. Who are you? No more questions, no replies. Soon enough you shall know who I am. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Just so you know, vampires are not immune to love. This one's so hot, it burned. The edges burned one night last year. A cautionary tale of love. These charms and spells that she so softly casts bespeak a power far beyond her years, that of a queen of darkness born again. There is a cold black fire in her blood, a fatal sadness in her cruel eyes. She dances. One step closer I reach out. She pulls away. In turn, emboldened, then again repelled by the promise of her wicked smile, I am seduced and shamelessly laid bare. These walls I have so carefully constructed from loveless lime and mortar have been breached. This heart of stone within now compromised I yield most willingly, drop all defenses, the rhythms of her body swaying, undulating to an inner music, so beguile me, dumbstruck and enchanted, I embrace her. Aggressively I thrust and penetrate, only to be captured and enveloped in the cadence of her body's mantra interlocking limbs and tangled hearts. Bruised and battered by her soft silk touch, once proud and free, I have become her slave. The conqueror has now become the conquest. I am now captive of my heart's desire. 
And so again at twilight I return. But now I am kept waiting, standing at the gate outside. She stands aloof within, denying entrance, and yet I cannot leave. Her taunting words, a cat o oh, nine, now flay my skin from flesh, my flesh from bone. Sore scarred by her dismissive sidelong glance as she turns away, thus leaving me bewildered by this sea change in her nature. Lost in this fog of ambiguity, no clarity of purpose, stumbling off into the night, I'm lost in inner darkness. It is the oldest game now played on me, this art of sweet seduction, nothing new. Turn about, seducer, now seduced. I bow to her. It was a game well played. So... Every revelation has its cost. You cannot know the price that will be paid. Even vampires must beware of witchcraft. I blame myself. I have myself betrayed. Thank you. Thank you.